I'm gonna show you how to design a PID controller using a MATLAB function called PID. The first thing you need to do is make sure that your MATLAB installation has this function. So go ahead and open up MATLAB and type help PID. If you get this uh, explanation for the function, that means your installation does have this function. So now we can go ahead and begin with the uh, program to design the PID controller. So go ahead and open up a new script by going to File, New Script. And let's go ahead and save our script while we're at it. So File, Save As, name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine PID Design. So let's go ahead and begin by clearing our variables, clearing the screen. And uh, let's make a symbolic constant. Now before we actually begin to design our PID controller, we need to have a uh, plan which we want to control. And they, usu they usually use the name G for the plant. So the plan that I want to control is G G equals 1 over S squared plus 3S plus 1. So I haven't made my function yet but this is the uh, plan function for which I'm designing my controller. So let's go ahead and make this function g. So the numerator is 1, the denominator is s squared plus 3s plus 1. So g is the transfer function, numerator, denominator. And I forgot to add the asterisk between 3 and S. So now that I have my function G, I can begin to design my controller. So let's say that I have this uh, G in a negative feedback loop. And let's say that my feedback is unity. And they usually name that block H. So H is 1. and uh, my controller is going to be in series with G. So if you uh, go to Wikipedia and uh, look for PID controller you're gonna see that what we have is three uh, variables KP, KI and KD. So I'm gonna go ahead and make those variables in MATLAB and uh, this plant block here in this picture is my G and my H would be here. So that's uh, unity feedback and of course like I said it's negative. So let's go ahead and uh, make uh, a variable for each of these case KP, KI, KD. Now the reason why I gave KP1 is because if I give it a zero then uh, when, I, when I put it in series with G that's going to be zero and of course I want to start with a I want to start with a G that I can control. So always start off with a KP equal to one and that just means that that's that's like not having a controller at all. It's not until we change the value of KP that we start to see the effects of the, uh, the proportional part of the controller. So using my PID function, I have just made my controller transfer function. So you always give it KP first, K1 
KI and KD last. Let's go ahead and plot the response of the uh, block diagram. So actually before I do that let's uh, let's go ahead and reduce the block diagram. So my transfer function which I'm gonna call T is gonna be the feedback of C in series with G with a feedback with a feedback H and the uh, feedback function assumes that the feedback is negative so I don't have to tell it negative one or anything like that so now that I have my transfer function I can go ahead and plot the response so once you have this code go ahead and run it to see how the response looks without a controller So this is my response plot without a controller. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be changing the values of KP, KI and KD and you're going to see live how changing those values affects the uh, step response. Let's go ahead and uh, take a quick look at the current characteristics of the transfer function without a controller. So notice that uh, my rise time is 2.59 seconds. We're going to decrease that with a controller. We're also going to decrease the settling time. And lastly, let's look at the steady state. So the steady state is 0.5. What we want is a steady state of 1. So the controller is going to fix all these variables. So now what I need you to do is I need you to uh, arrange these two windows in a way in which you can see both of them. So now go back to your script and uh, after the sims declaration or uh, instead of that let's go before the uh, before we actually made the controller variable go ahead and type two percentage signs and notice how MATLAB uh, put this whole section in yellow that's because uh, these two percentage signs separate sections of code so we can run uh, whichever section we want and not the other so we don't want to run this section since, that, since that's going to be the same throughout the program uh, the only thing that's going to change are these variables and of course that's going to change the controller and the transfer function and the response so that's why I separated this section from this one using these two percentage signs so now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and highlight the one that we gave to KP and you want to go to this uh, this uh, sim this plus sign at the top and go ahead and uh, just click keep uh, clicking it and take a look at how the response is changing so we're changing it by one at a time let's go ahead and change it by ten at a time so we can speed up the process and what you want to do is you just want to get a nice oscillation So I'm going to stop at uh, 139. The next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, go to now let's do KD. Uh, so it's always done in that order. Do K KP first and do KD and we're going to increment KD until we get a damped response. So let's go ahead and increment that one by five starting so notice how my response is uh, being damped by KD so once you have a uh, damp response that is also fast notice that you know my rise time is probably about 0 0.05 you want to stop there and now let's go to KI and go ahead and increment that until we fix the steady state error because if you notice here our steady state is currently 
0 0.993 let's try to make that be 1 I'm gonna go ahead and change this 5 to a 10 just so we can do this faster so my final value is now 1 so this would be my uh, transfer my step response with a controller and now at first sight you might think that this response actually looks the same as the one we had when we started but uh, just in case you didn't notice the time axis was changing also let's go ahead and plot both responses so you can see the uh, improvement with the controller so to plot both responses go uh, after the H and type step feedback and G H So this is going to be our uh, transfer function without a controller and now type hold on. So go ahead and run the whole code by clicking this, bu this button. So the blue line is my step response without a controller. The green line is my step response with this controller. So you can see that there was a uh, great improvement in the settling times, rise times, and of course the uh, steady state value. Now uh, what you want is to see what the controller function was. So you just go to your MATLAB command window and type C and press enter you're gonna get that function so let's go ahead and do that so C enter so this is my controller function and these are the uh, variables or the values I use for each of these case so as you can design a PID controller using MATLAB and the PID function 